Hi guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be breeding angelfish. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know for you to do it yourself. So as you can see here, we have a pair of angelfish. Uh, so the female is the orange one, the orange koi, and the male is the smoky, as they call it. Um, so here you can see they've been laying eggs and you know I came in and uh, found that they were laying eggs like this and so basically straight away got to work I got a little container for myself um, that container I filled actually with water from my display tank because it's got aqua soil in it which means that the pH is a bit lower and the KH is also a bit lower so that all, really always helps you know um, with the hatching of the eggs. So here you can see I just floating it in the actual in the same tank so uh, that you know they have the same temperature as where they were. I added a little air stone so they got you know a bit of movement um, you know so that the eggs don't fungus over and stuff. Um, so here you can see me getting the eggs. Um, they laid the eggs on one of these uh, these laying cones you can get them anywhere uh, at your local fish store or you know online even and they work really well so i'm just placing them in here i first put them up straight but that didn't fit so i lay them down and that was all fine and you know it's just crazy how many eggs they lay um i've got i think about 500 here but to make sure they don't fungus over i'm using this treatment um, it's like an antifungal uh, thing and I just put a few drops in there so that the eggs don't fungus over if they were not fertilized so they'll go like a white a solid white color but um, to make sure they don't fungus and spread the fungus to the other eggs I added this um, antifungal treatment and so basically two days later you can already see which eggs were fertilized and which weren't. The solid white ones, of course, are not fertilized, and the others are. And so here it's been about three, four days since the eggs have been laid, and normally it takes about a good three, three days for the eggs to for, uh, to hatch, and then they're in the stage that we call wrigglers. So um, here, all they have is basically they're still in the egg. They've got a little tail and the, the tail is wiggling, um, they don't even have a head yet and here you can see even better some fell like on, on the, the bottom of the container and they like all wiggling around and stuff like that and it's quite fun to see just from a distance. You can also see the small amount of eggs that weren't fertilized, I mean it's not a huge amount that weren't fertilized so that's good. Now this here, what we can see here is called as uh, fry hanging. So the fry actually have special uh, glands on their head um, where they can produce um, a sticky uh, substance basically and with that they can uh, make like a string, you know, like a spider would make his web um, and they can attach to each other and so they can hang uh, onto each other. So the fry are now about three days old and as you can see they are really starting to get uh, you know two little eyes and their tails getting a bit bigger and they get more of a, a body a real body you know and a day later we can see that they're really getting real eyes you can really see you know they got the real eyes as they would have when you know they get free swimming um, also they've grown a little more of course and they're still eating from the yolk sac so basically from the egg you know um, I haven't fed them yet um, and that's all fine um, so they just need a couple you know a little few more days until they'll be free swimming and they'll be ready to eat so another day has passed and um, as you can see they've grown a tiny bit more and some have already made a little move that they've started you know a little bit of swimming as you can see this one's here on the glass well not the glass on the side of the container and 
tomorrow they should be uh, nearly ready to be free swimming. So, shamely, they aren't free swimming there. They have still moved, you know, a bit. Um, you know, they fall off and they you know, move around a little bit. But I, I suspect maybe tomorrow or in two days time, they'll be fully free swimming. So here we are then, seven days after they were regulars, um, they're now free swimmers. So they are completely free swimming and they can swim around like a normal fish. And which also means is that they are ready for their first feeding. So here you can see in the water column, there's um, baby brine shrimp. Uh, baby brine shrimp is a fantastic food for young angelfish because they grow so quick on it. It's not even funny. And um, if you want to know how to hatch baby brine shrimp, I've got a video on that. And I'll link that in the top right hand corner and in the description down box down below. So make sure you check that out because you really need to know how to hatch baby brine shrimp for your baby angelfish. And so the next day I caught all of the baby angelfish out of the container um, and here you can just see how many I had, I mean, this is just abnormal, I mean, tons of them. Um, but I was going on holidays the next week, so I moved them to a bigger tank uh, in the hope that they would survive um, without having baby brine shrimp as a meal. Um, and when I came back, unfortunately, of course, what I was expecting it, not all of them had made it which wasn't a big problem for me because I already had a lot. And so now it's the 25th of March. Um, I haven't updated in a long time because I was really busy. Um, so when I came back from holidays, they weren't eating baby brine shrimp, but actually like a very fine flake. Um, and they were doing fine with that really. Um, so I decided to keep on giving them that uh, fine flake and they were doing fine on that. Um, of course, they do grow a little slower, so that's why they're not the biggest size quite yet. Um, but they'll they'll get there. Um, and in a minute, I'm going to show you some footage of some of their brothers and sisters, like an earlier batch, and to show you what they'll eventually look like. And so here they are. This is actually the first batch I bred from the same pair uh, that were also the parents of the batch that we just followed this whole video um and you can see they you know they are a fully baby angelfish now they're well they're not full grown but they got all the elements of a full grown angelfish and now it's just a matter of time until they are adults and so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something new and now you can breed angelfish yourself if you did make sure to leave a like and get subscribed to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.